Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in this week to this Georgia Clay. Please make sure that you guys stay tuned to the very end of the video. We do have a surprise for my mother-in-law, Leonette. Today's video is a little bit different. It is a closing day video slash empty house tour for my beautiful mother-in-law, Leonette. We're so proud and so happy for you. Congratulations on your beautiful home. Stay tuned, guys. tuning in this week to this Georgia play so today is going to be a closing video for my mother-in-law she just closed today and got her key so I'm super um, excited for her um, but she's home so let's go ahead and ring that doorbell Hi. congratulations, congratulations. Woo! she did that <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to my brand new Fisher Homes Coastal Cottage Calvin. Calvin model. <laughs> um, I'm just so <laughs> blessed right now. Um, this has been a long journey all the way from Southern California to Georgia um, and we're finally here. I can finally move in and get to decorating and you guys can help me with that. So um, you're probably familiar from all the other previous videos, but just to show you my new home office, glass double door entry. Time to get to work. <laughs> all the walls are agreeable gray. And then I have is it the Alabaster White, I'm not sure what it's called. Uh, Wayne's kind. I asked them not to install the closet doors, but they didn't think not to install the rack, so I'll be taking this down and installing some floating shelves. So, um, proceeding um, back order is my four year light, but it's coming. See, I love, 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 love my floors, my hardwood floors. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. You can cut that out. <laughs> um, and of course, going down my uh, guest hallway, you find the guest bathroom. Uh, there will be a glass panel installed instead of a shower curtain. My two guest rooms here and here. Uh, however, this one will serve as guest space. And this one over here will be my workout room. So this is where at this time the magic will happen. <laughs> Treadmill, stationary bike, TV for yoga, stretching, etc. So this will be that room. This will be my network sound room. Um, so my network panel is in here. Um, the sound company is coming to install the amplifier and tuner um, for my surround sound speakers. Uh, this area here is my mudroom. 
Um, missing still are the coat rack hooks that they're coming. They will be matte black. And this leads into my laundry room. Uh, appliances will be arriving on Thursday, yay! And I have my dream appliances. Um, and they, my color scheme will be uh, gray, white, and a form of, of blue. Um, so my washer and dryer will be blue. Okay, and continuing through the laundry room, this was the extra add-on, was to have a, clo a closet door um, in the laundry room uh, so that it makes it easier for me to access laundry, which comes right into my master bedroom closet. It's a decent size for me, perfect. I don't have very many clothes. Um, and then that goes into the master bathroom. So I did ask them not to install the build a grade mirror. That is an option for you. You can tell them not to install it. If you have something in mind in your vision for your own mirror design or your back wall design, you can ask them not to install it. So this is forthcoming. Um, these were, uh, had to be replaced at the last minute because the original ones were discontinued by Delta. Um, so I think they came out nice. I love this. To stop the, instead of having the little lever on the back or on the side to stop your sink, you just press the little button there. And then to release the water, you just press it again. Neat, huh? <laughs> and then my shower doors, I was informed today, are here. Um, but they uh, waiting for an install date. And then my water room in the master bath. And then my pocket door arrived safely and has been installed. So there he is. The long way So that leads into the master queendom. There you go. <laughs> and I did have the tray ceiling option installed. I will be bringing in my own light fixture. Uh, as the centerpiece, it will be a chandelier. Uh, I'm going to be doing a custom back wall and that leads up into the tray somehow. And then coming out of the master, uh, there is a master entryway that I need to do something nice and pleasing with. Um, and then that leads us into the great room. I love the length of my hallway, so for this model, you will need a 25 foot runner. I've already measured for you. Um, and then I was told this morning on my final walkthrough that the screen was back ordered until somewhere in August, but I just came in today and look at the nice surprise that my super got for me. So he was able to get it. Thank you, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then of course, I asked them not to install the pendant lighting because I want to choose my own. And then I installed the Builder Grade dining room light, but it will be replaced with one that matches my pendants. And of course, I went with the quartz countertop with the gray veining and the stainless steel um, I don't even know what to call the sink, but it's very deep. Of course, um, the hardware, I'm loving the sleek black, matte black coloring of all the fixtures. Uh, this is actually not black. These are like a dark bronze, but they look black enough here, so. <laughs> um, of course, I went with the cooktop and the built-in microwave oven, and um, I was excited to find out that um, my sales rep did get me the upgraded dishwasher, so I'm excited about that. Mm -hmm. And of course, I have all of the. Just got the third rack, the guys. Third rack. Yay! <laughs> and um, I went, of course, with the soft clothes options on all the kitchen cabinet doors and drawers. And I did the upgraded um, package that came with a lot of organization. 
here in, in uh, the cabinets and the drawers. Um, and then, oh yeah, the slide out drawers. Those two are also soft clothes. Mm -hmm. So, great feature. So if you're at the design stage, highly recommend it. It's been raining here, so, and we are in our stocking feet, so we can't take you outside. Um, but they did stake my land today, and I found out that I have way more land than I bargained for. So um, maybe on a follow-up when we do maybe a design touch-up um, video that I can show you exactly how far my property line does go until we model the end. Um, it goes up into a slope and down into a slope. So lots of land. Um, did I miss anything, Brittany? No. The microwave oven yeah. and my what will be my coffee center. So I went with the, I'm tall, so one of the things that I hate is when you have the stove oven option, you have to bend over so far to get your turkey or whatever out of the oven. So I went in with the built-in. So it's more at my level here, so it's easier for a tall person. If you're tall, I like this feature. Then my microwave, I cannot stand the microwave above the stove. I, it's just a pet peeve of mine. So I love this option that the microwave is just away from the stove. Can't get all that grease underneath and all of that. And then this will be my coffee center. Um, I have to ask Brittany her advice for a proper coffee machine. Do I want a basic Keurig or do I want something fancy? Um, so we'll be decorating this area together. We're gonna upgrade from the Keurig. Yeah, she's, she's like, no, you need an espresso latte machine. <laughs> you need to grind your own beans and make your own, what is it, foam? Yeah, so. Even on my Keurig, I do have the little foam. What is it, dude? The little uh, frother on the side? Yes, I need a frother. Um, I like it, but I advanced my palate from pod coffee. I just I can't do it anymore, so yeah. And I'm still growing from it, so I'll get there. Uh, but I do need sometimes a good cup of coffee to get my day going. Especially working from home. Exactly. Yep. Um, so a slight little change um, in my status is um, I was with my company for a long, long time and they called them back into the office yesterday. Mm -hmm. So, but just before that, I got a great opportunity to where I'm 100% work from home now. So, yes, she gets to use that office. <laughs> yes, I get to actually use my home office space. Mm -hmm. And then in the pantry, I think Matt inserted this once before, where instead of all the wire racks, I just need more organization in here. So I was just gonna do some custom cabinets with some floating shelves above, just to make it look much nicer and you know, more places to store my big items like my Instapot and my air fryer. And in the box in there, is that your girl? Yes, so I thought I was going to have to order. This is heavy. I thought I was gonna have to order this part, but it's actually, <sighs> A griddle for the cooktop. It's heavy. So we'll just do that. Um, and it just sits there so I can make my flapjacks. I love a good homemade pancake. And they're really good, so yeah. Yes, I, I make pretty good pancakes if I do say so myself. <laughs> uh, so I love the fact that it came with this. So yay again, Charlie. <laughs> and I give kudos to Adam on this one too. Um, and I think that's it, right, Brittany? Nope. I think so. It's no? Nice. No, that's not it. What? What do we forget? Because we have something as well to drop off, but what we're going to probably do is have you wait in your room and, and we'll set it up. Okay, so we have her wait in her room. So let's go ahead and charge her. Don't be peeking. Okay, we'll 
Welcome home. <laughs> no, you did not get that for me. Oh, that's a beautiful car, guys. It says, welcome home. Right, let's see. Right the front of the house. Oh. The driveway. The driveway, yeah. it does. <laughs> welcome home, we love you so much. It isn't just a place to live, it's home. And it's sure to be warm and welcoming because it's yours. Congratulations, Matt and Bree. <laughs> Ooh, let's see. They know me. I love a sweet wine, Moscato. And let's see what's in the box. Well, we don't have a box over here. I have Thank you so much and congrats, Lee! <laughs> 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 <laughs>